Pet owners in Campbell County are on edge tonight after two dogs were stolen from their homes over just the last two weeks. Yesterday, we told you about this stolen American pit bull dog. Thankfully, this dog is back home now, but there's still a puppy out there tonight. There's some pictures of the puppy. 10 News reporter Magda Lusant uh, spoke with the owners and has the message that they have for the perpetrators. It's been a long three days for Heather Lowry and her family. He's irreplaceable. On Tuesday, Lowry says four-year-old Lecter was in his locked cage outside on the porch with their two other dogs in a separate cage. When she got home, Lecter was missing. They found his cage flipped on its side with their puppy locked in it. And there's no way that they could have done it themselves because it, the type of cage that we have for him, you have to pull up and pull over and then push down to latch it. 36 hours and 100 Facebook shares later, Lowry got a call Lecter was found. She says he had been dropped off not too far from her home in a person's driveway. He didn't see who it was, um, and Lecter went straight to his house and stayed on his porch all night. They fed him, gave him water. This is the second stolen dog case in Campbell County in the last two weeks. Pamela Robertson's 12-week-old German Shepherd Livingston is still missing. I'm willing to double the pay just to get my puppy back, so bring her home. Law enforcement and animal control are now urging pet and homeowners to get surveillance cameras and have their dogs microchipped. They can't be tracked with a microchip, but it's a great identification. Lowry is glad to have Lecter back and hurts for the Robertsons who have yet to learn where Livingston could be. She says to the thief or thieves, these dogs are more than animals, they're family. I hope you get caught and I hope you get punished. And if you have a heart at all, you'll return these animals and stop it.